What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be talking about something that we have covered in the past. It's been a long time since we talked about it so I figured we'd bring it back up, revisit the topic, see if our thoughts on it have changed, and that topic being SiriusXM. Now I will say make sure you stick around to the end of the video. I am going to be giving away a three month subscription to SiriusXM, but before that let's get right into it. Previously I made a video on SiriusXM calling it a scam and while it did receive a lot of positive feedback from people and help people out, it also received a lot of backlash in the comments surprisingly, or unsurprisingly, from SiriusXM employees themselves. So I'm here to set the record straight because I don't necessarily think it's a scam, but I do think that they use deceptive business practices and their pricing model is just outright terrible. And I mean to be fair at the end of the day, me calling it a scam got you to click on it, right? So I'm sure some of you know what SiriusXM is. Maybe you just got a new vehicle, it's after the holiday season. Maybe you just realized your old vehicle had it. And they give you this very enticing offer at first, sometimes even free, but then after the subscription ends, you get hit with this giant renewal fee. So eventually when you get that first bill, it's $63 for three months. Now add that up over the course of the year, that's over $250 or more than $20 a month. Now comparably there's other music streaming services like Spotify, Pandora, Apple Music, shoot even Netflix, Amazon, Disney Plus, all of these subscription services are way less than SiriusXM is charging. And when you think about it, it's not even as flexible. It's not like you can take your radio out of your car and bring it with you. Although they have started including outside listening with your bundle now. I assume it's to entice new customers, but we really don't know how long that's going to last or if it's going to last forever. I just consider it a little nudge in the right direction. Now if you're like me and you have a short drive to work, mine is only 7 minutes long, lucky me. I also go on vacation about two times a year. We drive to northern Michigan. But I'm just not in the car enough to justify spending more than $20 a month on a radio subscription. Luckily, I got a little trick that's going to save you tons of money. And it's going to keep that little button on your dashboard active so it's not just some stupid little button there that does nothing when you press it. This also works if your subscription is already renewed at a higher price. Don't let that fool you. You can still call them. You can still get the promotional pricing. You'll just have to pay for the, the little lapse in time between the time that it renewed and the time that you call them. So basically, in a nutshell, if you don't want to watch the rest of the video, all you have to do is call them, you tell them that you're canceling your service, haggle with them on the phone for a little bit, make sure you're knowledgeable ahead of time at what the best rate is. I found that the best rate is $5 a month. Now that can come in the form of a 5 month package at $25, that can come in the form of a 6 month package at $30. Or right now I see that they have a 12 month package for $60. But at the end of the day it's $5 a month is their bottom line offer. Which is honestly pretty reasonable to me. I don't mind paying $5 a month. That's about how much I use the service. I've been doing this for 6 years with SiriusXM. No problems. No questions asked. I do miss a period here and there where I do end up paying full price. But because I pay at such a discounted rate most of the other time I don't really mind. So all in all I do wish that they would renegotiate their pricing model to be more fair for moderate users like myself. who don't take advantage of the service that often, but would still like to keep it active for those moments I go up north or wherever. So as proof of concept, I've actually let my subscription lapse. I have an outstanding balance right now of $63. It was supposed to renew about 10 days ago. What we're going to do is we're going to get them on the phone. We're going to tell them that we're canceling our subscription. We're going to give them whatever reason that we want to cancel, cost too much, blah, blah, blah. They're going to throw a bunch of different pricing at us until we finally reach the bottom line offer, which is $5 a month. And another way to keep them from automatically charging you at the end of your subscription is to ask for an invoice instead of giving them your credit card number. That way you can make a one-time payment, they won't save your credit card number so you don't have to worry about an automatic $63 transaction coming out in five months. So without further ado, let's get them on the phone and see what we can do. Thanks for calling Sirius XM. Your call may be monitored and recorded for quality assurance. Same. I see you're calling from a number that matches a Sirius XM account. Should we use this to look up your information? Yes. Not making that mistake twice. Okay, I found your account. You currently have a balance of $61.88. Would you like to pay your balance in full now? No. you are calling. For example, you can say, I bought a new car, question about a charge, refresh signal, or cancel my service. Cancel my service. 
что? Yes. Are you canceling because you bought a new car? No. Okay. Before connecting you with an agent, I need some additional information. Please say or enter the five digit zip code of your Sirius XM account. One last question. Please say or enter the house number of your billing address. For transfer you to listener care. All right, this is where you want to be, listener care. These are the people that's going to help you. Wait time is 14 minutes. Rather than waiting 14 minutes. Can call you back. Hi, my name is Jonathan. And your last name, Jonathan? Dethridge. Uh huh. So, hey there, Jonathan. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? That's good to hear. And I'm doing perfectly just fine here myself. Thank you for asking. So, how can I assist you for today? I'm calling because a few days ago my subscription it renewed, and um, it's just a really high price. Yeah, I wasn't really oh. looking to pay that price anymore. Oh, I see. I'm sorry to hear that, Jonathan. And I can't actually help you rectify the issue, but it seems you just got received the, uh, the bill of our regular rate. But tell you this, though, I can actually help you out with your savings and kindly disregard that bill, and I'll be sending you another one at the cheapest rate as possible that I can provide here on my end, all right? Okay, that'd be great. That's good enough. So, without any further ado, before I make some changes here on your account, I would just like to have your service address and your phone number here on file. Would you kindly please? Uh, yes, my address is. And then my phone number is. Yes. That's good to know. So allow me to make some changes from there and I can actually provide you a good quality service good for six months for the base price of $30 and that comes with fees and taxes of $6.41 so therefore we came up with a total of $36.35 and your services will be good from today until the 6th of July of 2020. But upon checking here that your service just renewed on the 28th of December, so therefore from that date to this date, you you get a huge portion amount of six dollars and twelve cents. So therefore, we came up with a total of forty two dollars and forty seven cents. So okay. Now I, I saw that there's a promotion for for a twelve month instead of six month for sixty dollars. Is there any way that I would be able to get that? So with regarding regarding to that, Jonathan, I can actually provide you that one though. Let me see here now if I can actually. But your bill is currently loading as of the moment. Please do bear with me. Okay. Okay, that would be great. Alright, so let me 
Can I get a uh, invoice for that? Uh, regarding to that one, Jonathan, this does require a credit card information for me to process a one-time payment. I'm sorry, though. So I, I can't get an invoice payment? Yeah, as much as I would love to, though. Okay, I, I usually get the invoice. That's, that's why I ask. So I, I usually get an invoice every time I renew, that's why I ask. Oh, for the record there, Jonathan, it is system generated, and I'm, I do apologize for that one, though. But this package, or promotional rate, rather, does require a credit information on file for me to process a one-time payment. Because this is such a great deal, after all. Okay. Okay, that's, that's fine. I see. That's good to know. So, I'm ready whenever you're ready regarding with your card number here, so. Alright, it's... Thank you for that information, Jonathan. So I'll be processing this one out for your own fight. Okay. So, regarding to that one, we do normally send 16 to 30 days Early notification to all our customers in the address on file for them to be notified that their service is almost up for renewal at least two months away or at least a month. So I would just like to verify your email address here for you with you. That is John at Yahoo.com. Oh, uh, yes, that's correct. All right, so feel free to check your email address on file on the 6th of November or December for you to be further notified from us. So once you get notified, feel free to just call us up and we'll gladly sort things out with you. Okay. Alright, so without any further ado, with all those information provided, I'll be reading to the terms and conditions for today's transaction. Sounds good. And therefore, I'll be needing your verbal approval for this one as well. So okay. if you have any further thoughts or verifications, can I get hold of that? Because right after I finish reading this one out for you, I'll be needing your approval. So before you approve of this, feel free to ask the questions at the end of this, alright? Alright. Thank you. So let's go over the details. The 12 month select plan you chose starts today. Your bill is $17.08 for the initial period, which includes fees and taxes. There is a balance due of $61.88 from previous transaction, which brings your total today to $78.96. Your service will automatically renew on January 6, 2021. Your renewal will bill every month at the current rate for an estimated total charge of $20.63, which includes fees and taxes. You may cancel at any time by calling us at 866 635-2349. You may see a renewal with a prorated charge to align with the billing date on your account. Your customer agreement including the refund policy can be found on our website at SiriusXM.com or you can request it at any time by phone. If there is an email address on your account, a confirmation of this transaction will be sent to that email address within five days. Do you accept these terms and may I have your permission to charge your card and again 4056 now for $78.96 in for all future charges. Yes, that is fine. Thank you for your verbal approval there, um, Jonathan, and everything seems to be perfectly settled as of the moment, and I'll be just going ahead and document everything here under your account as of today. But while I'm documenting everything here, I would just like to take this opportunity as well as to say thank you so much for calling in and with regards to renewing of your service and for considering keeping our services as well. And for the matter of fact, it's been a pleasure assisting you as a long-time customer here in Sirius and Sam and we really do appreciate your loyalty there, Jonathan. We most certainly do. And I really do sure hope at some point at least I made you the most satisfied customer as of today. Oh, yes, absolutely. So thank you for your honest feedback, Jonathan. Feel free to check your email address on file for you to notify by two months away. And feel free to follow us up and we'll gladly start things out with you. And everything will be sent to your email address on file as well, accordingly, based on what I've so far in your account, for you to have quality assurance. So 
Would there be anything else? Nope, that's it. That's good to hear. And thank you so much for calling Terry next time. And you may have a wonderful day. And happy new year to each and every one of you there. Alright, thank you. You as well. Thank you. Alright. Bye bye for now. Take care as always. Bye. Alright, so easy as that. We got a 12 month subscription for $78 instead of over $250 is what it would normally cost if we if we paid the regular rates. So it's that easy. Um, apparently they couldn't give us an invoice because of the, the 12 month subscription. I don't know if they just discontinued invoices altogether. But with that said, um, we did save some money. We saved a heck of a lot of money. I hope you guys save some money. So make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and you want to stay up to date with everything we're doing over here. We're really trying to hit a thousand subscribers, so that would mean the world to me. If you did stick around this far in the video, I will be giving a special thank you. So on screen somewhere like here or here or here or somewhere over here, I will be putting a uh, code and instructions to redeem for a free three month subscription to Sirius XM for new customers only. Please don't use the code if you don't need it. Save it for someone who does. I appreciate it. I appreciate you guys watching this video. I hope you hit that subscribe button, and I will catch you next time. Peace out. It, it did get a lot of positive feedback, but... Okay. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> You're so handsome. <laughs>